Islamic schools in Kwara State are pleading with the Kwara State Governor Abdurrahman Abdurrazak to reopen schools in the state, saying schools in the state are now safe to reopen. The chairman of the association, Professor Abdurrazak Oniye, disclosed while addressing journalists in Lorne, the state capital, on the effect of COVID-19 in the state. Professor Oniye maintained that the partial reopening of schools for exit classes examinations have shown that the time is right for full reopening, adding that his members have lost millions of naira as a result of the COVID-19 lockdown. Schools cannot remain closed indefinitely, so the smart option is to think of how schools will operate in the states despite COVID-19. It does not appear that government is thinking of reopening schools for now and for the foreseeable future. We should dispel this notion by allocating resources that will enable public schools to reopen and fully observe COVID-19 protocols. It will be unfair to stop private schools that are ready to comply with COVID-19 protocols from reopening just because public schools cannot. I want to say we have lost uh, nothing less than millions of Naira. If you say we have lost more than 200 million, 500 million, you will just be giving an average. We have lost money in terms of the unpaid school fees because some parents capitalized on the closure of school they didn't pay. He, however, urged the state government to invest hugely in technology and to review levies and taxes on private schools in the post-COVID-19 economy. Major effects of COVID-19 new normal is that education is going to get immersed in technology. We want to appeal to government to invest hugely in technology, both in terms of knowledge acquisition and needed infrastructures. We propose that government should look at the possibility of downward review of levies and charges imposed on schools as well as the issue of multiple taxation. Students and proprietors of schools in Kwara State are waiting patiently for government's next line of action on school resumption for academic activities to commence. The Lagos State Commission